We're standing here on the site of Wicksteed Playscapes. Originally founded in 1876, it has been upgraded over the generations. It remains today the focal point for our head offices, our design, our research and development, and more importantly, our manufacturing processes, which still accounts for 72% of our cost value production center. Today, we'd like to take you through those processes and just give you a short glimpse of what Wicksteed Playscapes are all about. Following the manufacturing process, every component that has been made comes through to this next area and it's called shot blasting. Essentially what this process does is it fires at the pieces of steel at very high pressure, fine particles of steel called shot. This is a G17 shot and what that does under high pressure is it removes all the impurities that may be impregnated into that steel component, preparing it for its final paint process. Following the shot blasting process, the components come through to this area, which is the zinc thermal coating area. It's a spray-in technique which is unique to Wicksteed Playscapes and unique within the play industry sector. It involves a zinc coil which is when arced through this gun here, sprays onto the actual component forming a perfect undercoat for the powder coating process to follow. It dries instantly, which is something you'll see in the video clip coming your way now.
January 2009, Wigsteed Playscapes purchased Fawn's Recreational Supplies. They're based in Farnborough and they are leading experts in the manufacture of play equipment specialising in round log manufacture. They account for 22% of our cost value of production. We have, however, retained a small wood machining area within the Wigsteed complex here and you're going to see a short video clip of how we manufacture the wooden slats for our furniture range. Good afternoon, Sales Office Becky speaking. How can I help you? This is our 120 square meter conference and demonstration area. But very interestingly, it was the original design department operated by Charles Wigsteed. We have a photograph here which shows this very room from 1907 with Charles Wigsteed, his son, and various design engineers. And in the very background of the picture, you can see a notice that they are designing and working on the automatic gearbox for the automobile. He decided that it wasn't a viable proposition and decided to sell it to Wolseley. Not the best decision he probably ever made. That concludes a snapshot of what we are about at Wigsteed. Why not arrange a factory tour to witness all the processes in action? Contact us via the details on the screen and thank you for watching.